Hello Scorpio, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. This is Riza here. I trust you guys had a wonderful November and are gearing up for December, Christmas, New Year's, January. It's right around the corner. So keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign of Scorpio. So if the sun sign doesn't resonate with you, listen to the other two videos because Perhaps you'll get a well-rounded reading and take a bit of a message from all three videos for this month coming in. If you guys would like a private reading with me, please check the links below the video, find my Gmail address, and drop me a line, and I will send you my introductory email. If not, wait for the links that come up at the end of the video, and that takes you to my blog, and you can check my stuff out there as well. All right, without further ado, Scorpio, let me get to your reading. I'm going to do something a little different this month, and I'm going to put out a card for those of you that are single and a card for those of you that are in a relationship. There's going to be two cards that support that. I have a Major Arcana card. That's going to be your general energies for the month. Then there's going to be a Romance card for each one of you, a Whispers of Love for each one of you, Romance Oracle for each one of you, and a Lenormand Advice card for each one of you. So, I hope you enjoy your reading. Let's go with the single ones. The single ones. You have the Queen of Wands showing at the very beginning. So you are in a stage in your life when you want things to happen. You're trying to create new adventures. You're hot, you're horny, you're ready to go. <laughs> Had to say it, I'm sorry. That's what the Queen of Wands is usually like. Someone that's ready for action. Someone that has her wand ready. She is very passionate, very impulsive, and very warm. You know, like the type of person that you touch and you know that they're warm. They're very warm loving. They're caring about people. So this is how you have to be this month, Scorpio. You have to embody the energies of the Queen of Wands in order to get out there and meet a new person that's coming into your life. If you're single and you're looking, it could be a fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. Okay, all of them are very warm. All of them are very inviting. They're all very impulsive. But they don't like to stick around if you're not interested. So you have to catch their interest quickly. You have the King of Wands here as well. So when both of these are together as a pair, this person pushes the energy that this one brings around so what this is telling me Scorpio is that you're very ready to meet someone you're going to come up with the idea you're going to create that beautiful wand that beautiful relationship and this guy here the king of wands is going to push it forward and make it happen because that's what he does he has mastered all of the wands he has mastered his suit and he's the one that manifests so as a couple, you either have a couple that's already committed that may know someone that you will meet this month due to them with their help. Maybe you're going to be invited to a party at their house and there's going to be someone there that's going to be very fiery in nature and you're going to fall in love with them or they're going to fall in love with you. It could be teachers. Maybe you start a a new learning curve maybe you start going to college or you take a class or you join a group or something that a couple runs and there you will meet someone and it could be someone that's a bit younger it could be someone of the earth signs Virgo Taurus or Capricorn or again fire signs that you may meet so Scorpio I think you're going to have a very heated month you're going to be invited to parties you're going to go out and do stuff you might even join a club or you may join some type of a class or group where you learn things and you meet new people and there you may find someone that's going to be very attractive to you attracted to you and you attracted to them there's going to be a lot of endings and beginnings this month for you guys okay i'm sorry i didn't show you this card first but i should have this is the world card it tells me that you've learned a lot of lessons and you've learned them the hard way the way that everyone else does but you're happy now because you've come to a point in your life, Scorpio, where you're enjoying the things that you've learned. You're enjoying your life. You're raising your vibrations. You're getting out there. You're joining new groups. You're meeting new people. And through this interaction with other people, especially fire signs, you may meet someone that's going to be perfect for you. 
This card here tells me that there's a bit of a time apart from your partner. So you may meet this person and they may be either on a trip or they go on a trip or they travel for work. So you'll meet the person and then you'll separate for a little time and probably have some type of communications with them back and forth until you meet again. Because this card tells me that there's separation on the horizon between you and a partner and this is the perfect time to prepare for them. So once you meet this person and then you separate because of whatever work or something happens in their family and they have to travel, that will be the perfect time to get your ducks in order, whatever that is. Um, and you'll know what that is. It's different for everyone until you meet this person again. Because there is a cycle in your life that's ending. So if you've been single for a very long time, you can kiss that goodbye. If you've been in a relationship for a long time, you're either going to travel with that person or that also may end. So the world represents endings and beginnings of new cycles in your life, whatever that may be. Moving, traveling, a new relationships, endings of relationships, endings of jobs, things like that. When you meet this person, you need to demonstrate love because this person may like that about you, may like a person that shows, that's warm, that's loving, just like that person's going to be. Remember, that person's going to be very warm and attracted to things that are warm, places that are warm, people that are warm and show their emotions. Sometimes Scorpios, because you do not like to be hurt and you have that deep, deep, dark way of feeling, of, of showing your love, you need to be more on the surface for this person, okay? Because they're going to want to feel it. Otherwise, they'll be gone, especially if they're fire signs. And if you really like them, you really don't want to lose them on a technicality. You need to open up, okay? Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. <laughs> I'm trying to help you here. That person is going to be very sensual, sexual, warm, like activities outdoors, um, like someone that has very... A very intelligent mind so that they can keep them entertained and talk to them you know someone that really sparks them up it's like wow and that will get them that gets a fire sign every time someone that has the gift of gab and that's done a lot of things and if it's a spiritual person you're talking to then talk spirituality if it's someone that likes the outdoors talk about outdoorsy things you know just try to find out what they like and go with it <laughs> it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give it to yourself. So get ready because this person is coming. And while you have this little separation time from that person, prepare yourself. Because they're coming in with a bang. Power, long and strong. This person that you're going to meet is a very strong person. And it's a very committed person to a long-term relationship. So if you're really interested, this can really work. But they have power. They're very strong. Fire signs are very difficult and very strong. And they usually have their own business or their teachers or they're someone that's very involved with community, with, with businesses. So looks like you have a good catch coming in. All right, Scorpio, if you are in a committed relationship, I see your leading card is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the card of despair, it's the card of heartbreak. You guys really need to stop looking into the past because the past is the past for a reason. Sometimes we forget. We forget why we um, had such a bad time in a relationship, why it fell apart to begin with. There was a reason why it ended. And usually if you can go back to that relationship, let's say you're, you're thinking about Johnny. Um... Wow, I don't believe it broke up. I can't get over Johnny. And then Johnny calls you and Johnny wants to hook back up with you. And you go running back to Johnny or vice versa. Jeannie, you can't believe Jeannie left you. And all of a sudden Jeannie calls you back. Oh, I love you. I miss you. Can you come back? And you come back. And the whole damn thing happens again. Except this time it'll be worse because you were already there. You already know this. So why are you crying over spilled milk? Why are you crying over something that had to end because it was detrimental to your health, Scorpio? They didn't, they weren't a good match for you. It's not going to ever happen again. It's not going to be a good match if it were to repeat itself. So look at what you still have going for you, Scorpio. You have two cups. That means you already have a soulmate. You have someone already that's looking at you. You have someone that's willing to listen to you, that's willing to do things for you, that's willing to commit to you. 
may not be perfect, but neither was that one. That one with the cups that have fallen, that have broken your heart. That one was worse. So try to remember the reasons why you left it and then drop it. Leave it. Bury it. Dig a hole and bury those memories because they're no good that you keep bringing them up. All you're doing is ruining whatever else you have going on that's going into the future. And you've already got a relationship, okay? Look, this person really wants to commit to you. They want to be a committed person. Here you are. Here you are having come through huge obstacles by yourself with your struggles and your thoughts and your communication and everything that you did and you're using that to paddle your way through some huge obstacles my dear and you're coming to a place where you have a committed relationship you have someone that wants to commit to you someone that wants to marry you or maybe not marry you but be like a a relationship where you are married in some cases yes they want to marry you they want to have children if you're younger if you're already older and have children then this person wants to commit to you they want to have a relationship one-on-one -on -one, where they're not going to have somebody on the side and they're going to hope that you don't either so you need to realize that the person that you're with is someone that wants to commit to you and you have already gone through a lot of struggles in order to be where you are you've done a lot of transformation you've done a lot of changing you've grown a lot you've learned a lot you need to apply it now Scorpio as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond will deepen this person that you're with this soulmate that's with you now is someone that's there for a reason you really should get to know them a bit better and spend more time and kind of take their word at face value and don't doubt what they say. For once, trust. For once, trust and, and get to know the person. See what they're all about. Because you may find that that person has a lot more in common with you than you yet have to discover. The Lenormand card. Lenormand cards are very difficult cards. I use them very sparingly. <laughs> because usually what they say, they hit home. And it hurts. A little bit sometimes this is all about family it's about sex it's about a lover it's about harmonious relationships if you allow it these are the lilies so the lilies are warning you that this person that's with you it's a good it makes a good lover he's there for sex he's there to be your lover he's there to commit for family to have a harmonious relationship with this person don't patronize him or her. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So if you really want freedom, my dear, if you really want, or my friend, if it's a male or a female, I don't know. If you really want this, if you really want to continue to cry about the past and forget what you have in your life now, you're free. You're free to start again. You're free to come out of that lotus, out of that darkness that you have. And you can start over. You can also start over with this new relationship that you have. Come out of your darkness, Scorpio. There's a rainbow. There's a light. There's guidance. There's someone that wants to assist you. There's someone that wants to help you, to be with you, to have a relationship with you. You're being asked to rest and relax. You're taxed, you're wore out, you're tired. You have expanded your energy a lot for a very long time to people that didn't deserve it. So it's time that you gather up your, your pieces of your soul that you have left in other places and, and pull yourself together and give a little bit more credit to the person that's with you and look at them like a person that, that actually wants to, to spend time with you, to have a committed relationship with you. To be your helper. To be someone that stands with you, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Remember, there's beginnings. There's endings and beginnings of cycles in your life. If you want to drop all that pain that you have had for a very long time, this is the time to do it. This month. Because it's December. It's the end of a year. It's the end of an era. The end of a cycle in your life. You don't need to go through this stuff again. You've already gone through the lessons. You don't need to repeat them. You've already learned them. Don't go back. 
because then you will feel badly for having you know gone back against what you've already learned all right it's time to end it during this month you can start fresh you can start new you're free to begin again all right scorpio know that i love you these words come from my heart straight to yours merry christmas happy new year talk to you again in january and know that i'm thinking about all of you bye for now